Hello people of internet, what's going on? I am the Matty Boy 2 welcome back to another video. It's been a while, but I'm finally back. Uh, I've not uploaded in about two months. For those of you that don't know, I was in Africa for a month actually, uh, doing some charity work there. Uh, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, I thought about recording some of it, but I thought it would sort of take away from the experience, so I didn't. Um, but if you want to see some photos, I've posted quite a few on my Instagram, and there will be more to come on my Snapchat. They're both in the description. Go and add me up. Uh, if you add me up within, or follow me within 24 hours of this video being uploaded, I will follow you back, each and every single one of you that does that. Anyway, uh, I am I'm back now. Uh, I got a new job, actually. Uh, so the uploads will be less consistent not that they were very consistent in the first place um but yeah anyway getting on with the video uh this is the start team i'm going to use in fifa 18 uh when i build a prem team i'm going to build a couple of different league teams uh so if you want to see uh probably the either liga or bundesliga uh cheap squad next uh Let's get this video to 25 likes uh, and I will upload that within a couple of days. Anyway, uh, there are certain reasons I've chosen each player and I'll run you through them. And let's jump straight into it. So in net, I have gone with Jordan Pickford. Uh, transferred to Everton for about 30 mil, I think. Um, reason I picked him, stats don't look too good. But on FIFA 17, especially when he was a silver, and I noticed this with everyone using him in Fatal, uh, he was OP. Uh, he was a silver prem keeper that everyone seemed to use, and for good reasons. He looked good. And with the defence that I'm going to have in front of him, if he isn't too good, I don't think it'll be that much of an issue. At right back, we do have DeAndre Yedlin uh, from the recently promoted Newcastle. If you take one look at his card, you'll see why I've gone with him. 94 pace he had on FIFA 17, and that was when he was silver. He, I'm sure he'll get upgraded to gold, uh, so he will be cheap, because obviously, obviously golds are going to be cheaper than silvers at the start of the game, especially ones like this. Decent defending, good physical, all right passing and dribbling. Shooting doesn't really matter for a fullback, just an all-round solid card. First centre-back I have gone with is Davinson Sanchez. New Spurs centre-back, their record signing, and he looks solid. Again, I think he'll get an upgrade. I wouldn't say he'll be over 78 rated, 79 rated. So he shouldn't be too expensive. But this year he was very solid in FIFA and hopefully he'll be the exact same. Decent pace, decent defending, decent physical. No standout stats, but he looks solid just all around. Second centre-back is Nathan Ake. Finally joined Burn Bournemouth permanently. Just look at the pace. For a cheap centre-back... I feel like he's going to be a bit like uh, Cabasel this year. Pacey, good defending and physical. Put an anchor card on there and he will be very OP. And I think you'll see him even in some of the more expensive teams. He looks to be a very good and reliable centre-back this year. At left-back, I have gone with Martin Olsen. Uh, again, like Yedlin, uh, just an all-round good card for a full-back. Not as fast, but if you know with the chemistry style, the pace will go above ninety. Passing isn't great, but everything else for a full back I think is alright. Um and I'm I'm gonna use him anyway because he will get a strong link to one of the midfielders. You can probably work out who it is, but I'm very, very excited about that strong link for cheap teams this year. First centre mid we're going with is Ndidi from Leicester. Again with a silver this year. I think he should get upgraded. If not, I am going to go with uh, Kuyate, I think, from West Ham. Uh, dribbling and passing aren't the best, but he's going to be the more defensive mid I've got. Uh, ideally, I'd like the passing to be a bit higher, but for a cheap team at the start of the game, I don't think that's going to matter too much. Decent aura stats, not the best card, but he looks alright. Second centre mid is Decori. I love this guy for cheap teams in FIFA 17. Absolutely brilliant. Every single start above 70. Um, and, you know, even when I couldn't afford Pogba in the more expensive teams, I used this guy for the chem and I didn't sub him off in the end because he was that good. Really, really solid card. Good work rate. 
and I'm excited to see how good he is again in FIFA 18. Final centre mid is Renato Sanchez. I don't know how Swansea managed to get him on loan from Bayern, but it's happened and I'm so glad. Uh, again, every start above 70. We all know how OP he was in FIFA 17. Hopefully he's the same in FIFA 18. He may be one of the more expensive players, uh, especially to start with, but his price should drop quite quickly. He will be part quite a bit, and I'm very excited about bringing him into a Prem team. At right forward, as I'm going to be playing this in a 4-3-2-1, I am going with Carrillo. Uh, he will be downgraded, I think. Uh, he didn't have the best season at Benfica, but he has gone to Watford now. Um, and I used this guy as my super sub on FIFA 17 for so long. Five-star skills, good all-around stats, put a marksman or finisher card on there, and he's brilliant. Um, and hopefully he'll be just as good in FIFA 17. Uh, FIFA 18, sorry, and now he's in the Prem, so he's even better. Left forward, we've got Hesse. Wasn't the best in FIFA 17, but he was all right for me. Uh, and again, now he's in the Prem. Stoke have managed to pull off a great signing there. Good pace, good dribbling. Shooting, passing and physical aren't the best, but um, I think in a cheap side, you don't want like Ronaldo, do you? You're not expecting that sort of calibre of player, so he'll do the job perfectly well. And then up front, I have gone with Dwight Gale. Many of you will know how much I loved him in FIFA 17. His inform, his team of the season were my go-to strikers for quite a long time in my English teams or when I needed an English striker. He was brilliant. Uh, he will be upgraded in FIFA 18, so his pace will be even better and he felt rapid uh, in FIFA 17. Shooting will be even better and that felt clinical. He'll have sick dribbling, decent physical and just an all-round great card. So, anyway, here is what my team is going to look like. Um, I think it looks solid and I can't wait to use it. Anyway, that is it. Let me know if you're going to build this team or who you will change. Uh, and remember, guys, 25 likes and I will bring you another one of these for a different league. If you've got any suggestions of which league you'd like me to do, leave them in the comment section down below. And remember to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, and I will be following and adding you guys back for the first 24 hours this video is out. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and thanks for watching. You guys 